YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Nicola Regano. You are watching My Barber Dreams. We're back for another food review. We're at Leo Greta's in Carnegie. So if you know me, you know I'm 100% Italian, so I'm super picky about Italian food when I eat out. But I've heard good things about this place. It's supposed to be one of the top rated Italian restaurants in Pittsburgh. So let's go try it out, see if it lives up to the hype. Let's go. getting for appetizer the greens and beans which has a sweet fennel sausage and mixed in the escarole with some beretta which is basically a big buffalo mozzarella ball Fantastic. can't wait so cool place in here you know seems very family quaint small um, we're, we're getting a lot of food so I'm getting the manicotti Tino's getting the chicken parmesan gotta try that and then we're both getting sides of rapini and the house-made meatball. And of course some Caesar salads. So we're excited to see how it turns out. This is all homemade pasta, so very excited for that. <laughs> so you gotta have the bread and oil with the Italian meal. Isn't that right? Half to. It's a staple. That's for with the beans, sausage, is fire. Can't wait to dip into the mozzarella. You see, the trick is you gotta have the bread, dip it in the oil, and then hit some of the sauce and then some of that cheese. Ooh, yeah, that's the trick. Well, that didn't take long. Really good flavor on the meatball. Um, it's not too saucy, which is great. It's a first for the greens uh, for the broccoli rapi. It is cold. I've never had it chilled before like that, but I do like it. It's a nice touch. Very garlicky. Plenty of cheese. Fantastic. So how's that chicken parm? Really good. Crispy filet. Nice little cutlet there. All on some a bed of homemade pasta, which is like the I don't really know what you call this, but it's pretty cool. This tiramisu is insane. So light, fluffy, creamy. <clears throat> I mean, this, I don't know. I, I don't know if I've had a, a tiramisu like this. So, after eating Leo Greta's, uh, I definitely liked the experience. It's a nice, small, quaint place. Um, the food was fire, the food was really good. I think the sauce was a little bit too sweet for my liking. Uh, I like more of a garlic, spicy sauce, but that's just my preference. The food besides that was really good. I thought the tiramisu was the cherry on top of everything. As I'm very picky about Italian food, I think it is Paisano approved, 
So that was it for another food review. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss a video. And until the next time, we'll see you then.